Hey everyone, Cal Mike here from MLive.com, joined by Justin Rogers. Lions back in the practice field today, Wednesday, to begin preparations uh, for the Packers on Sunday, Justin. And, and one big storyline we've seen this week is, is with Nate Freeze and the place-kicking situation. Uh, the Lions had in at least three veterans on Tuesday for kicker tryouts uh, to, to try out for that position where Nate Freeze has struggled so much to begin the year. Um, sticking with Nate Freeze, uh, Jim Caldwell announced today. And what's your reaction to that news? You know, I, I kind of got the vibe uh, through the week that that was going to be the case. You know, reading between the lines with Caldwell's comments, um, saying that Freeze would eventually get on track, them giving um, us access to Freeze, something I don't think they were going to do if, if he wasn't going to be here. Uh, they brought in three kickers as, um, you know, updating their portfolio of guys available. You know, they have to be prepared if Freeze can't get back on track. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a risky move sticking <coughs> with him for another week, but, um, you know, that's the decision that's been made. So now they know... Um, you know, between Baronis, Henry, and Hartley, what those guys offer. Um, there's a report out there that, that Henry had a really good workout, and, you know, they could bring in one of those guys if, if uh, Freeze doesn't get on track against the Packers. Well, Freeze's leash is incredibly short. We yep. know that for certain because they, they wouldn't have brought in kickers this week uh, to compete with their rookie, their seventh-round draft pick from this year, if they weren't serious about possibly making a change at some point. Uh, two of five, if, if, he, if he has another bad game against the Packers, misses a big kick, whatever the case may be, he could be on the street as soon as next week. And, and that you don't like to say that about a kid who's just getting his start in the league, but that, that, that position, as much as any in the league, if not more so, is results-oriented. You have to hit kicks or you're gone. There's only 32 jobs in the NFL at that position. The, the competition is fierce and you have to convert. Um, the Lions like Freeze's potential. I think, I think that's a reason why they've kept him around. Is they, they, they see the leg, the leg talent that's there. Um, so to say, and I think they they're, they're banking on on that coming through at some point. But if he doesn't start delivering, and I'm talking Sunday, you know, uh, the changes will be afoot. I I still can't. I don't know. I, I guess I've had a hard time grasping how poor he's performed from the moment he's been here. Yeah, this is this is a kid that was incredibly accurate all through college. Yeah. He showed um, plenty of leg strength, but for some reason, like he's never got a consistent rhythm with this team. I, I don't know what the deal is. He he seems to indicate everything's fine. It's just his his yeah. personal mechanics. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But yeah, you're right. I mean, one one miss in this game from from inside 45, and and they're probably going to be looking at a different kicker next week. He's he's got the leg talent. We we've seen the the depth. He's proven the accuracy and the consistency previously in his career. Um, but like you said, he's been inconsistent since putting on a Lions uniform, and I'm convinced it has to be between the ears because you don't just lose your leg like that um, on a dime when you're that age. It's It's got to be between the ears, and the Lions are banking on, on him sorting that out. There are other issues with the, with the with the Lions as they take on the the Packers in a big divisional game, the Lions' first divisional game of the year. What's what's one big matchup you're looking for in this game? Well, the issue is Aaron Rodgers is coming to town. Um, <laughs> And and the secondary uh, versus versus Jordy Nelson is is where I'm I'm keyed in. Jordy Nelson's been targeted 30 times already this season. He was targeted 126 times last year, which is a career yeah. high, and he's on pace to just absolutely blow that out. Not just targeted, he's catching catching balls. He's got 18 catches, nearly 300 yards. Um, he's destroying defenses. Uh, I I think the Lions will probably put Rasheen Mathis on him. Uh, Mathis has kind of been matched up with the the top targets on the other teams they've faced thus far, uh, and that's. That's a very, very difficult challenge. You know, yeah. there's there are very few receivers that have the hands and body control that Nelson does to make very difficult grabs, high points, catches. Um, you know, and and Mathis, you know, is a is a veteran, he's a savvy veteran, but he's gonna be charged with stopping him. And and really, the big thing is he's got to keep the ball in front of him. Nelson's gonna get his. Can't let it be big plays. Can't let it be yards after the catch. If he finishes with something like six catches for 80 yards, 90 yards. You've had a good day, and you call out a win. The matchup I'm watching is is uh, just a few feet inside from that one um, with uh, Randall Cobb versus uh, whatever human form the Lions put in the nickel, because we you know they started Bill Bentley to begin the season. I, I was optimistic for him and, and his chances. He had a pretty good off season. Went down in the season opener. Then it was Nevin Lawson in week two. He went down. Um, so they're on to option three at this point. It's going to be either Cass, Cassius Vaughn or it's going to be the new guy, Danny Gore, Gore. apparently. is how you pronounce his last name, Danny Gore, um, former Baltimore and Colts guy that Jim Caldwell knows from those stops. And, you know, I, I talked to Gore a little bit this week, uh, yeah, today, and he said that he's played a little bit in the nickel. Um, but I think maybe he, he's, he's, played, he's played some snaps there, but he's not a true nickel guy. And so, you know, but the Lions have a need there, and I, I think that he's going to be expected to, to provide some kind of depth or perhaps even start there. Um, it's either him or Vaughn, and I don't think 
Vaughn's really a long-term answer in the in the nickel either. One of those guys has to cover Randall Cobb or whoever's in the in the nickel. I think that's a huge, huge, huge mismatch for the Lions um, going against Aaron Rodgers. It's the problem in this roster is they have a lot of guys that can play nickel, but none where it's their specialty. And right. and you you really that nickel back's an important position in the NFL yeah. right now. You know, yep. uh, nickel I think is is played more than than a base three four four three in the league now, just given the the crazy number of passing yards quarterbacks are putting up. So. Uh, hopefully, a guy can, for the for the Lions' sake, can can rise above and and you know establish himself in that position. I mean, it's either a nickel or it's that strong side linebacker. Which is to hear Whitehead. To hear Whitehead played four snaps in the opener. So to hear Whitehead's a starter in name, but you know you you use a nickel back so much in this league, especially against offenses like the Packers. Uh, so that's an incredibly important position. The Lions don't really have an answer right now. That's a huge issue against a team that prides itself on on passing well, and wants to win game, wants to win games that way. So we got uh, for Justin Rogers. I'm Kyle Mikey. We are M Live. Keep it right here.